So you like cheese, right? Do you like cheese? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I already ate, I said, but. What about tuna fish? I already ate. I got you some tuna fish, and I got you some, this is best than it was for Harl. Oh, shit. I know, but I already ate, I already told Yeah, you. but when it, you come inside a person's house, you have to what? Dude, I, you, you have to eat their food. You don't have to every time. Sit right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Try that, that's not good. It's really good, dude. Eat it, they want to eat, sure. Can yeah. I just eat one piece and that's it? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> but I'm cooking for you, it's like a cooking know, show too. I fucking told you I already ate, dude. I know, but I also told your manager and your agents and your publicist that this is a cooking show and to come to the fucking show hungry. Thanks. Do you like it? Oh my God. Hmm? So you're turning 50 years old, pretty soon. I already turned 50. You think about that? <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. 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 Stop, dude. Come on, you gotta eat some food. <laughs> What's wrong? It's good food. This is fresh. I just went to Gelson yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. In Silver Lake. I came because I knew you were coming. You're my guest. <laughs> Fucking dry. Here. <laughs> you, you have any to <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here. <laughs> okay, wait. Here, here, here. You want to drink this water? Here, here. I'll drink this water. No, I don't want to drink that. I don't want to drink that. I don't drink that. <laughs> oh my god. It's so fucking dry. I hate it. <laughs> Spit oh, it out right uh -oh. there. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. So 50 years old. Oh. <coughs> Do you know we're not here forever? I know. Huh? I, I know I know we're not here forever, but it's, it's not something that you think about, Polly. It does when your parents die. I know my dad just died in August, and yeah. um, you know what it, what? it made me realize that, you know what? Life is precious, and mm. I gotta take advantage of every fucking moment of mm. every day, and mm. that's what it does. Mm. It reminds you, and I, I don't even necessarily know what happens when you die. You either mm. go to heaven, or maybe it, you just, you know maybe, maybe you just close your fucking eyes and you never wake up again. <coughs> right? Well, if it's nothingness, why would I care? I wouldn't, not, I wouldn't know. Right. Right? But, but at the end of the day, all I can do is live in the moment, mm -hmm. and the reality of the situation is, is that I'm here in the present moment, and this is the only thing that's really that's real. Mm. You know. Even being at my place, you're okay with it or no? Huh? You <laughs> huh? You're, you're okay. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Okay. I love you, man. You yeah. know that. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here. I, I love you. Cool. Yeah, but my dad, my I was in the room. Were you there when your parents died? In the yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. You were in the room when your mom died. And my dad. And your dad. Yeah. Oh and no, not not no 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 no. No, what happened was. As me and my mom's caregiver, Alfred, remember Alfred? Yeah, yeah. We went to go get some Chinese food. <laughs> that was a joke. We went to go, we went to, we went to go get Chinese food. We went to go get Chinese food and we ate it, we brought it home. Son of a bitch. And my, my brother Scott was there. Yeah, and, yeah. And I knew we all ate Chinese food at my mom's house. And I knew, <laughs> I knew I was gonna be saying goodbye to her. <coughs> I knew that was gonna be her last night. So I drove back here to Silver Lake. Yeah. And I drove back to Silver Lake, and um, and I woke up in the morning at 7 a.m. And there was a, a, a slew of text messages from from first it's from people, just fucking so many people. So TMZ found out about it before anyone. Oh my God. You know, so Mike, my friend at TMZ, he said, I'm sorry for your loss. Oh my God. That's how you found out? That's how I found out. Is that fucked <laughs> up? That's so fucked up. Yeah. And so what, what was your first reaction? <sighs> Just heavy, dude. Yeah. It's still really heavy for me. Yeah, yeah it's you still can. really heavy for me. It's part of the reason why I don't go to the store all the time. Yeah. You know, it's hard for me to, to see it now and s know that she's not there. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, you were there. It just felt when she was there, it felt different. You know, it's funny. Like, I, you know, you know, the comics at the comedy store now never really even knew her. You know, no. they're all just like famous people that just mm. kind of came to the store. But I was one of those guys that knew your mom, knew your dad. I worked at the store for many, many years. Mm. And the comedy store is literally my home as well. Mm. 
Because, you know, when I was growing up, I had a lot of trauma. And mm. this is, a, can we just talk? Or, like, why am I talking to you through? Well, we're, we're talking. It's, it's, it's like we're just, we're here. It doesn't matter what, what, what it is. Oh, yeah, right. Go back then. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're here. That's the main thing. You're yeah, talking to them. Thing. I'm listening. We're yeah, part yeah. of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes I like to peer around the corner, but I could be right here. Okay, go on. But growing up was, like, very traumatic for me. My dad was very abusive. Mm. And my mom was, uh, you know, ver- abusive as well. Not as bad mm. as my dad. And, um, you know, when I was in my early 20s, I had no future. I mm. literally did not go to college. I mm. had no goals, plans. And I was walking down the street. Mm. This is in 1995. And I saw a Help Wanted sign at the comedy You store. saw what? Help Wanted? Yeah. Oh, at the La Jolla Comedy Store. The La Jolla Comedy yeah. Store. And I, and I used to work. I used to live two blocks from there. Mm. I was walking home, I saw the sign knocked on the door, mm. and I asked if I could get a job, and they gave me a bar back job wow. at first. And, and that was for Fred Burns? That was for Freddie, yeah. yeah Fred well, Burns gave yeah. him a job. Well, you remember Fred? And yeah. Ron, remember Ron? Yeah. And um, yeah, that, and so that it felt like the beginning of a new life. Mm. Because imagine being lost and not knowing what to do, and then you mm. finally find. <laughs> Sorry, go on, you finally find yourself. I know, that's crazy. 